Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky has signed into law a bill lowering Ukraine's draft age by two years to 25. Mobilization has become a divisive issue in Ukraine, which is exhausted after two years of war and heavy losses. Well, let's speak live to Alexei Koncherenko, who is a member of Ukraine's parliament, he joins us live from Odessa. Uh, thank you so much for being here on the programme. Uh, your reaction to this now becoming law? First of all, uh, hello. And uh, this law was uh, voted in the parliament uh, almost 11 months ago. Finally, it is signed. Uh, yes, Ukraine needs mobilization, it's clear. But at the same time, Ukraine also needs demobilization because some people who are fighting for the third year already, uh, and they are civilians in their previous life, they can't fight forever. And very important issue is uh, determining of a uh, term of service for Ukrainian soldiers and those who want to be changed after, for example, two years of fighting, uh, they should be changed. Yes. So this is a big uh, question which is now discussed in Ukrainian society, how mobilization should look like, how demobilization should look like. I'll come back to wider reaction in a moment, but how many extra soldiers will this actually provide? Because back in December, President Zelensky was talking about the need for half a million more. Today, President Zelensky said that we don't have a need in half a million. I can't tell you how more will be uh, mobilized in the age, age cons or conscripted in the age of 25, 26 years. I just don't know. But we're definitely speaking about thousands of people. But what is very important, we can't fight with Russia by numbers. We will mobilize half million, they will mobilize one million. We will mobilize one million, they will mobilize two. They are much bigger country and with a much bigger manpower. So uh, for us, the most important is to have weapons, modern, effective, from our allies, to have a smart strategy, smart tactics. Only by this we should win. On no other way there is for us. But, but let's bring those two thoughts together, because in terms of public support for this, where are we? Because you've had President Zelensky, even in the last few days, talking about, again, the lack of weapons from the West, the lack of air cover, the likely Russian push in May and June. Families, ordinary families, will be alarmed to be sending their 25-year-olds to war, won't they? They will, for sure. And definitely that's a hot uh, topic. And um, everybody who wanted to go to fight voluntarily, they did it in 2022. So now we're speaking about people who don't want to fight, but they, yes, some of them understand that they need to fight to protect their country. Some of them try to avoid this. This is also reality. So my personal position is you, we need to have a very clear and simple system when it is absolutely clear, for example, 18 months of service, you know definitely how long will you serve. You know that you will have rotations, so you will not build it all the time on the front line. Yes. You know you will have vacations and all of this. But once again, we really, I want to address you and those who are listening to us and watching us now. Ukraine needs help in weapons. No. In ammunition. No. We don't have lack of people, but we have lack of support from our partners who promised us to be with us as long as it takes. And now it is not happening. 